Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for tuning in with me today. Now in today's video I'm going to be reviewing my entire collection by Lisa Eldridge. So ever since I've tried her foundation I actually did dedicate an entire video to that product alone. So I'm going to be linking that video up in my cards here and also I'm going to include it in my description box below. I was hooked on this brand. I really wanted to try out more products by Lisa Aldridge and see, you know, if they were worth it or not. So Lisa Aldridge is actually a famous British makeup artist and you can actually tell by the performance and the quality of these products that somebody created this line who knows their game. Apart from the packaging, these products don't just look fantastic and exquisite. No, the quality and the performance, they are really top notch and also worth the high price point. I want to point that out straight away that this brand is a little bit pricier. The quality is just outstanding. So that's why I kept on continuing, you know, picking up some products by her because I really wanted to know what is worth it and what maybe not. So that's why I'm making this video. But also I was so intrigued when I saw that Lisa has actually released a couple of new shades in her liquid eyeshadow formula, which I picked up a couple of them. And then also she has released a couple of new lipstick shades and I definitely picked up some of these amazing new releases and I literally tried them out and I really want to share my opinion, feelings and thoughts with you guys in today's video. But yeah you guys, if this is your very first time on my channel, I would absolutely love for you guys to stick around with me on here a little bit longer and if you love makeup as much as I do, why not hit that subscribe button you can also ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And if you find this review helpful or if you just enjoyed the video, why not give it a big thumbs up? That would be extremely appreciated. I also just want to mention that Lisa's brand is completely cruelty free and vegan. I don't think there's any product here that is not vegan. You can actually find on her website all of the details. She does an amazing job in being very transparent what she puts into the formulas and also what she's leaving out. But because this makeup brand is kind of developing and growing over time, as of right now she does not have like every single makeup product in her range just yet. So I'm gonna be putting on as many products as she's offering actually and that I was able to pick up. But you know we are going to be filling in the gaps with some other products that I love you know I'm not going to be showing you all of that you know I'm going to be skipping that but I will definitely let you know how I created this look with all of these beautiful products but all right I don't want to make the intro too long for you guys so just go ahead and check out Lisa's website because all of the products I actually purchased from her website and I do think it's the only place where you can actually shop her makeup so yeah without no further ado I would say let's just go bare face and let's put on this beautiful makeup by Lisa Aldridge all right, you guys, so I'm barefaced right now. And before we are going to apply the foundation, I actually do want to use a primer on my face. Now, Lisa does not offer a primer in her line just yet. Hopefully that's going to come. But I'm just going to start off with one of the primers that I usually use before I'm applying Lisa's foundation. So this is the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. Ooh, I love this primer so, so much, especially in combination with the foundation that we're about to put on. Like, I feel like I'm all way down to here hopefully this pump is still gonna give me out some product all right so the primer is applied I really love this this really gives me such a smooth base also blurs out your pores quite well but yeah I just really love this primer in combination with the foundation so let's actually talk about the foundation by Lisa Aldridge so this is the seamless skin the foundation and this retails for $61 so when I first purchased this foundation I actually made an entire video review solely on this product because man i think i declared it my favorite foundation it kind of is it is such an amazing foundation and ever since i got this i really can't put this one down but i really have to retain myself because it is quite an expensive product however a little bit goes a really long way with this i mean i always use this when i know my makeup has to look impeccable for special occasions you know for just days where i know i don't really have the possibility to touch up and i just need to look flawless 
this is the foundation that I reach for. Honestly, I don't even know how much I've got left. I feel like I've just been using this so much. It is really hard to see how much I've got left because the gloss inside is actually so tinted because this is kind of like a highly pigmented formula. So it makes it really, really hard to see how much is actually still in the bottle. Let me actually have a look. I just opened this up. Whoa, that looks so weird. Um, don't have much left. I think I'm all the way down to here. And also, this is actually a really fancy bottle. I still feel like this could be a rocket if she would have literally made a stand for it. It could be a rocket. What a missed opportunity, right? But the way you're actually storing this is because this does not come with a stand. But, you know, you see this has a little bit of an indentment right here. So you actually lay this down flat. So let's actually have a look at the details on this foundation. I mean, I made an entire video on this already with a wear test. I'm going to link it in my description box. I'm also going to put it right here in the cards if you want to have a look at like all of the details, okay? So I'm not going to linger on too much with this. I'm just going to give you the basic details here. So this actually comes in 40 shades. I have the shade number 10. I feel like the shade range is really inclusive. So in terms of coverage and finish, this product actually, you don't need a lot. You know, it's actually advised to start off with just a little bit. And then if you want more coverage, you can definitely build it up. But it's going to give you a medium coverage straight away. Uh, the finish on this is described as not like a flap matte and not like a dewy foundation so it's more like a natural finish and i think that's very accurate you know it's definitely more on the satin side like it's not like super dewy super glowy super luminous but it's also not like a flat matte it is very skin like it really feels like a second skin the texture the formula of this super lightweight and I love that you know it feels like a second skin it really does not feel like you're wearing any foundation it does not feel like you're putting on makeup it's really going to melt in with your skin so the way I like to apply this is I actually apply this with a brush and then sometimes I press it in with a sponge but yeah either way works you know works with a brush and it also works with a sponge so I always use my Clove and Hello perfecting buffer brush love this brush this is so gentle on your skin like one of the softest brushes i've ever used love this and this works so well in combination with this brush so i'm just gonna pump out a little bit of product i don't really need that much this is already quite a lot of product like you can see it's not that runny that i would run down my fingers so it has a little bit of a creamy texture but it's really really lightweight so I'm just going to apply it on one side first and the shade is really lovely. This is such a nice neutral shade. I feel like it's not too yellow and it's also not too pink. It's really perfect. So let's just buff this out first. So as you can see, this little amount of product gave me that much coverage, definitely a medium coverage, but it just looks like my skin. And I love that. It just is not too luminous. It's not too matte. It's just such a beautiful finish. I can definitely go and build this one up. So yeah, let's actually continue a little bit on this side. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more product and you can see how much coverage I can achieve. I mean, this is really the amount of coverage that I just love. I really feel like I built this up uh, kind of like a medium to full coverage right now. And also this is how much product I still have left. I think in total I did like four pumps. Let's actually apply it to the other side as well. So this is how much I do want to build up this foundation, but man, the finish is so stunning. This is literally like a second skin. It literally feels weightless on your skin, you know. 
I really love this. It gives you like a really healthy, very, very, very subtle glow. But in general, I feel like this is more of a satin sort of foundation in terms of finish. I completely forgot to mention that this product is also vegan. This does not contain any alcohol. It does not contain any parabens, no talc, no fragrance, no essential oils, no nylon 12, no microplastics, no SPF. Now, quite frankly, this is not silicone free though. There are a couple of silicones in here. So the next product that I do have by Lisa Aldridge is actually her liquid highlighter. At this point in time, she does not carry a concealer, a powder. She doesn't have a bronzer or a blush can't wait for those to arrive in her collection but you know because we don't have these products right now i'm just going to fill in the gaps with some products that i personally love using so i'm going to use my lawless conceal the deal full coverage concealer underneath my eyes a little bit and then i'm just going to set my face with the kosas cloud set powder i have this in the shade breezy and then in terms of complexion colors i'm going to use the rare beauty bronzer stick in the shade happy soul been really really loving this one and for my blush i'm going to also use a cream blush i'm going to use the lila b divine duo lip and cheek in the shade b lovely so i'm going to use this blush and i feel like i'm just going to do this off camera and i'll be right back with that beautiful highlighter by Lisa Aldridge. All right, you guys, so I'm back right now. I've applied all of these beautiful products. And also, meanwhile, I did fill in my brows and I used my favorite combination of products. I used the Item Beauty Brow Chow in the shade Medium Brown, and then I went over it with my Kosas Air Brow and Soft Brown. Still loving these so, so much. So let's actually talk about the highlighter. So this is the Elevated Glow Highlighter and this retails for $38. So in the beginning I was a little bit reluctant to pick up this product because usually I'm more of a fan of powder highlighters. However, I was like, can Lisa Aldridge do any wrong? So I gave this a try and I picked it up. I actually picked this up in the shade pink moon now there are five different shades so this is the product just look at this beautiful packaging again really nice with this frosted glass packaging this actually does come with a doe foot huge doe foot so the shade pink moon is actually the lightest out of all of the highlighting shades so pink moon imparts the skin with an ethereal rosy luminescence wherever it touches i've got to say I was really surprised by this because sometimes I feel like these liquid highlighters, they can definitely just grip onto your skin, remove the makeup underneath it. They dry too quickly. Not this one. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, the formula here, the presentation of the product is stunning. Okay, really, really nice. So this isn't really described as a liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter. I feel like it's a hybrid. It's like a liquidy cream sort of highlighting product. So Elevated Glow contains lots of small multicolored shimmering pearls in a sheer, lightly tinted and skin adaptive base. The level of shimmer on the skin depends on how much you apply. So start with a small dot and build to the desired level of glow you prefer. So this is also cruelty free, vegan, free from parabens, talc, fragrance, gluten, nylon 12, D6 and D5. I don't really like taking this doe foot and going straight onto my face. What I tend to do is I put it on my wrist first. What I like to do actually is take this onto an eyeshadow brush. I think this is like a fluffy crease brush. So I'm literally going to put it on my brush. Now this product does not feel oily. It does not feel balmy. It really feels like, like a liquid kind of product, you know, but still creamy in a way. And also this does not really have that much of a dry down, which is great. But uh, what I love about this is that it does not interfere with the makeup that is on my skin already. Now, you could actually mix this in with the foundation, you know, in order to get a little bit more of a luminous finish overall. I don't really do that, you know. I just tend to use it like a standard highlighter. So I took this on my brush and I'm going to just put it right here.
I mean, this is just giving me such a beautiful glow. It does not enhance my texture or anything to a crazy degree. I feel like it looks like my skin and I could definitely build this up if I wanted to give it more of a punch. But wow, I mean, this is so nice. It's really not disrupting the makeup that I have laid underneath it already. It's just really not interfering with it whatsoever. So I'm going to also apply this on the other side of my face. Absolutely gorgeous product. Now it's so flexible too. You can feather this out. You can still like disperse it. I just feel like it does not dry down that much. It will stay a little bit more wet on your skin. That is not a bad thing necessarily, but it's not like a quick drying liquid highlighter. Oh, I had some really terrible experience with those kind of highlighters. They just look so unflattering in finish. And this, I mean, it just looks like stunning. I did not expect to love this that much. Now the test comes with the tip of my nose because you guys know I usually have to put on powder on the tip of my nose. Usually a liquid highlighter or a cream will definitely interrupt my makeup underneath it. And it just looks ridiculous. But this one, nah, this is a different story. This is so beautiful. So I'm gonna apply it to the tip of my nose and just do a little bit of tap, tap, tap here. Never has a liquid highlighter or even a cream highlighter looked that good on the tip of my nose. Never. I mean, I can't believe this. This is such a great product. Also going to just do it right here. Going to apply a little bit right here. This is like looking like a glow that literally comes from within my skin. I mean, really stunning highlighter. I love the fact that she actually has released this in five different shades. So if you don't like this shade, there are a couple more shades available on her website. So let's actually move on to the eyes and I'm so excited for this part of the video. So these are her liquid Lurex eyeshadows and one of them retails for $27. So in total, she actually has 11 shades to choose from. She has recently added six brand new shades to her already existing five shades. And when I saw these new shades, I was like, I gotta pick them up. Because honestly, the shades that I always wanted to pick up, they were always out of stock. And I was just waiting on them to be restocked. And then she had released six brand new shades. So I actually do have two shades of her original sort of collection. And then I picked up three out of the six brand newly released shades as well. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna be showing you them all swatched on my arm. And then I'm gonna actually show them to you on my eyes. How did they actually look on my eyes? Apart from that one shade that we are actually going to be applying in a second, because I wanna show you how these actually apply as well. So the very first one is Angelica. This is described as a beautifully wearable, smoky topaz taupe with sparkling dimensions of silver, gold, violet green, and gold pearls. So the next one is the shade Lisa, an intense charcoal shot through with silvery flashes of stardust, combined with a heady mix of magenta, violet, blue, green, and disco ball silver pearls. So the next shade is one of her newly released shades. It's the shade Daphne, a fresh golden olive green with a shimmering metallic finish. The blend of pink, spinal, green and gold pearls give depth and dimension to this truly special shade. Now the next shade might just be one of my all-time favorite shades. It's the new shade Emily, a neutral minky taupe shade with a sparkling chandelier of gold, silver, rose, pink and magenta glittery pearls. So out of these four, I think this newly released shade Emily, wow, this is so stunning. This is super pretty. It actually reminded me a lot of the RMS uh, eye lights in the shade Strobe. 
absolutely stunning. I feel like this formula is so sophisticated. Just the way this feathers out, though it's the edges, the blend out on these liquid eyeshadows is definitely spectacular because they do have enough base pigment to be feathered out. They are so beautiful. I mean, all of these shades are stunning. I also really, really, really love that shade Lisa. That just literally looks like the night sky on my lids. It's just absolutely stunning. I'm blown away. Also, the shimmer particles in this formula are so special because they are not flying around everywhere once this product dries down. I feel like this is a really sophisticated liquid eyeshadow formula and you can tell that a makeup artist with a lot of experience has actually created this formula. Absolutely beautiful. So for today, I actually wanted to use that stunning shade Zora. So Zora is actually described as a rich, deep, sumptuous, cool toned chocolate bronze with an irresistible blend of smoky silver sparkles. I mean, brown and silver combined. I love that. So this is no exception. I've already tried this out prior, like all of the other shades. So let's actually put on Zora. Now, I don't really need any sort of eye primer. I would advise you not to use an eye primer with liquid eyeshadows, you know, as per usual. Um, they should just literally work on their own. So another thing that I love about these is the fact that they don't take much time to apply. This is such an easy to work with formula. So I actually like to use two different brushes for this. Now usually I use um, a Spectrum A12, this kind of brush just to get kind of in here into the inner corner of my eye and then I use my favorite brush, my Lila B crease brush, just to feather them out towards the edges. I mean, you could definitely apply these on top of like powder eyeshadows, you know, just if you would use like more of a neutral sort of shade in your crease and then apply these on top to get some sparkling. But I just wanted to show you these on their own because they have enough base pigment that you can actually feather them out. And the way these feather out is just really impressive. Such a beautiful shade as well. It reminds me a little bit of Mink by Victoria Beckham. But this is, I feel like, a little bit more wearable. And I just love the way this just blends out. Like, the base pigment here, you know. Really lovely. You could definitely build these up. Let's actually apply a little bit more product. And I can show you. It is so, so stunning. I love this. Um, I feel like you could definitely also use your fingers just to swipe them over, but I kind of like to feather them out like that. And this base pigment, wow, so good. Okay, so let's actually do the other side. Love this. I'm just going to use a little bit of an eyeliner. I'm going to use my Victoria Beckham Satin Kayal Liner in the shade Coco, which is this beautiful brown eyeliner. And then I'm also going to take the shade onto my lower lash line. I love the way these just blend out, the way this looks, just the multi-dimension of this product, just the way these blend out, the way they feather out, the way they are going to look and the dry down on these, perfect. The flexibility, the way I can work with them, I honestly, honestly love them. Just remember, there are 11 shades in total in case you don't like any of these shades and in case you had a favorite shade let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite one um to be honest in my humble opinion i'm going with these three zora lisa 
and Emily. All right, so the mascara is applied. I actually ended up using my Lawless The One and Done mascara, which I truly, truly love. And I feel like before I'm reviewing the lipsticks, let's actually start off with her lip gloss formula. So this is the Gloss Embrace lip gloss and this retails for $25. So Lisa has actually a lip gloss formula. These come in 13 different shades. I only have one of the shades, which is the shade Muse. That is such a beautiful shade. It's described as a rosewood. So Muse is described as a sensual smoky rosewood shade with a perfect mix of pinky brown and dirty rose undertone. So I'm not going to be putting this onto my lips today. I'm not going to be putting on a lot of these lipsticks because I just want to wear one color in specific, but I'm going to show you some footage of me applying this lip gloss. So this product really reminded me of like a hybrid in between a lip gloss and a lip balm. It is quite lightweight on your lips, I would say. It's not like this gel cushiony sort of lip gloss. I kind of prefer that. I honestly don't think that this product is a must-have, you know. It's okay. It is, I think this shade in particular, I'm not sure because I only have this shade, so I can't comment on all of these other shades, but I think this is a little bit more like light to medium pigmentation. I think this might just be a little bit sheerer. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. It definitely shows up and it definitely has some reflect, but the way this feels on my lips, it does not feel like a cushiony, like jelly lip gloss. It's not tacky or anything, but I feel like it's a little bit more balmy. You know, I did not expect this to be so runny and kind of like not as pillow cushiony as I would love a gloss to be. It's definitely not my favorite lip gloss formula of all time. I don't know. It's okay. You know, it's pretty on the lips. I don't mind it, but I have some other formulas that I definitely prefer over this formula in particular. Oh my gosh, before we're actually moving on to the lipsticks, let's also talk about her lip liner product. So this is the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil and this retails for $27. Now this actually comes in 17 shades and these 17 shades are going to match the lipsticks that we are about to talk about. This is the shade Muse again. This is going to match this lip gloss and I think with the lip gloss this will work perfect. But yeah, it's nice. Again, the shade Muse, this beautiful rosewood sort of uh, shade. Absolutely stunning. I feel like these two products by the line are just kind of like, if you want to try them, give them a go. But they did not blow me away in any kind of way. I also have, I think, two other sort of lip pencil formulas that I prefer a little bit more than this one. It's not bad. It's beautiful. Blends out lovely. Two products that I'm like, you can try them if you want, but they are not like wowing me to like a certain degree than all of these other products do. So the next product, the lipstick, is one of the products that oh, I love. She actually has three different types of lipsticks. I just don't have the insanely saturated lip color lipsticks. Those actually come in five shades. I feel like these shades have to speak to me personally in order for me to pick them up. And with the insanely saturated lip color, I just remember there was like a red, a purple, and like some pink, but there was not really a neutral, more brown shade, what I'm into. None of that was really available. So this is the True Velvet Lip Color and this retails for $36. So the shade names of the lip liners are going to match this formula, the True Velvet Lip Color formula. Now again, I have the shade Muse and I have the shade Affair. And can I just say that these have the most stunning texture ever. This is like the most beautiful lipstick I have ever seen. Like I'm just going to put um, a picture of my lipstick in a close up here because I don't think the camera will pick this up from this far. This is just <laughs> so beautiful. This looks like a mesh over your lipstick and this is like a beautiful matte satin velvety lipstick. The formula on this, the glide on, the wear time, Mm, absolutely stunning. So this is the shade Muse. Again, this is going to match the lip gloss 
and the lip pencil. Now you can see when I applied this, I was wearing the lip pencil, almost like blurs your lips. They're just pure magic. I love these. Such a beautiful dusty rose shade. I really, really love it. Absolutely stunning. Now the shade Affair is described as an earthy soft caramel brown with easygoing cool girl vibes. Now I kind of disagree on that description because I don't think this is as cool toned as described and it looks a little bit more warm. I don't know why. On my lips, this pulls quite warm. Yeah, it does have some warmth to the brown. This is not a cool brown because if you look at my eyes, that is a cool brown to me. If you look at the lipstick, that is not cool toned, okay? It's definitely more warm. I love this formula, but I don't think neither of the shades is going to go particularly well with the eye look that I've just created. So I wanted to show you guys this brand new lipstick because this is also a newer shade that she has released in a different formula. So this is luxuriously loosened lip color and this retails for $36. So this is her more shiny lipstick, a little bit sheerer if you want to. You can definitely build these up. I don't think they're that sheer. But she has recently uh, added a couple of new shades to her existing line with the formula. And when I saw this shade, I was like, no way. I want to try this one out. And this is the shade Meet Me in Berlin. I mean, whoo, this speaks to my soul. I mean, that is just such a beautiful brown lipstick. I did not expect it to be that deep. Honestly, I thought it would be a little bit lighter, but it's just such a beautiful shade and I want to apply this today. So the shade Meet Me in Berlin is actually described as a deliciously rich tan shade, which delivers to various intensities as a brown to nude across all skin tones. Also, I should really mention she has 14 different shades of this formula as of right now. This is one of her newer shades. And yeah, this was the only shade that really, really intrigued me. Such a beautiful shade, isn't it? So I can't wait to put this on. I actually found a lip liner that works really well with this shade. It's not by Lisa Aldrich, it's by Lawless. So I'm going to apply this Lawless Cocoa liner because I feel like that one is going to match this lipstick quite well. So my lip liner is applied. I know this is a little bit deep, but it's gonna work so well with this lipstick. So let's actually put it on. This is also not a lip formula that is going to move around. It's just Perfect. I feel like her lipsticks is really where it's at. They are really, really lovely. And I can't wait for her to actually release more of like a beigey brown shade in this formula too. Now, I also love the matte formula, but this definitely has a little bit more moisture than the true velvet lip color. But all right, you guys, this is my final look using as many products by Lisa Aldrich as possible. Do let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried any product by Lisa Aldrich and if so, what is your favorite product? I'm really excited to be reviewing her brand further on my channel. And yeah, if you found this review helpful or if you just enjoyed the video, why not give it a big thumbs up? That would be extremely appreciated. And also if you made it that far and in case you have not subscribed to my channel just yet, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming videos. And yeah, I should be seeing you on here very, very soon with the next one. So please do take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>